All right, here's a um, real piece of chemistry glassware called a burette. Uh, it has a red liquid in it. Uh, we use these things a lot in general chemistry lab. And uh, we want to learn how to read the volume of the liquid in the tube. So if we notice the scale, you've had some practice with uh, rulers in your lessons. If you look at the scale, you can see that the number at the top above the liquid is 22, and the next numbered line is 23 down below. So this volume is between 22 and 23 milliliters. You can see that the divisions between 22 and 23 uh, are the shorter lines and that the distance or the volume between 22 and 23 has been divided into 10 equal divisions. The 0.5 milliliter line between 22 and 23 is a longer line. If we look at the liquid in the tube now, we can see that the surface is not completely flat across. That's called the meniscus Liquids in narrow tubes many times will show you this curved surface. We read liquid volumes at the bottom of the meniscus. So if I look carefully at the bottom of this meniscus, I see that the bottom lines up very closely to 22.4 milliliters. Since it's not obviously above or below 22.4 milliliters, that is four tenths of the way between 22 and 23, I would record the volume as 22.40 milliliters. The zero tells us that I did not think it was a fraction of a uh, division above 22.4 or below 22.4. So let's drain some out and let's uh, show the volume at another location, another place on the, on the burette. Uh, burettes have a valve at the bottom and that's what they're used for to, to deliver small volumes, carefully measured volumes of liquids. If I drain some out, let's try having you read the volume on this burette at a different place here. So there's a new volume. See if you can read what it says. Okay, I, if uh, you got a uh, if you're reading of 23.60 or 23.62, somewhere around there, remember that the reading of a burette or a reading of any volume like this is uh, up to the reader. But uh, I would say that the volume is very close to 23.60.